Welcome back, everyone. It's now time for this week's Open Artist Spotlight. The Open Artist Spotlight is made possible in part with public funds from the Bronx Council on the Arts through the New York State Council on the Arts Decentralization Program. This week's spotlight shines on a singer-songwriter whose unconventional style and sounds plays tribute to her Russian roots while also lending a more whimsical reflection of her Australian upbringing. Here to perform her new single, Beautiful Faces, please welcome to the open artist stage, Katia. Tremendous job, Katia and Tom on guitar. Great job today Thank on the you. show. Thank you. You know, when we let off the show, I, you know, because your name is so like Katia, you know, I was going to say artiste. I don't know if I said it good, but I wanted to give it a little, a little, yeah, a little, yeah. you know, a little guster there. That's good. So, you know, <laughs> you guys here on the show today, you get a chance to kind of bring this energy and a lot of, again, we talk about unconventional music to some degree. How much has your heritage played a big role in what you're doing right now? Oh, I think a massive role because. I suppose when you're a five, six, seven year old kid and you listen to music, that's the stuff that seeps into your subconscious and un unwillingly comes out in your music. And so a lot of my stuff is actually quite dark and um, sort of pays tribute to some of the folk um, melodies that I heard growing mm -hmm. up in the Soviet Union. So maybe not so much in this song, but certainly in the next song that we're going to perform later, definitely a lot of Russian and melodies. Australia too, or no? Yeah, well, I, I moved to Australia when I was nine. So at that point, I think my 
musical taste had already, already been, been established. established in many ways. Um, but I discovered so many other, I, I discovered the Beatles only after I moved to Australia. So I think that now those, the, the, those Western bands have, um, I suppose, informed a lot of my writing. But I guess it's a combination of both, yeah. Two more quick questions. Yeah. So we're running out of time. We want to hear you one more time, yeah, too. Cool. What made you want to come to New York City and tell us a little more about the single, too? Beautiful face. Yeah. Well, look, I, I went to a meditation retreat for 10 days, and this thought just came to me that I had to move to New York, so I did. And, and in terms it's of... A good, it's a good thought. Yeah, it's a good thought. And in terms of Beautiful Faces, this was a co-write with my really good friend, Harry Hall, and I visited him in Southeast Asia last year, and we got together for 10 days, and we wrote the song. Tremendous stuff. Yeah. Thank you for coming on, Tom. Thank you Thank for you having well. us. So That's for more <laughs> on Katya, be sure to check out her website, katya.com. That is your show today. Thank you for all of our guests for joining us. And to our viewers, of course, for tuning in. Don't forget, if you missed any part of the show, you can check out the Reed Cablecast tonight and 24 hours a day at bronxnet.tv. Once again, I'm Flama Blanca, Bobby C. And for all of us here at Open, enjoy the rest of your Friday and have a great weekend. Katya will take us out. Silver bird, silver bird, silver bird.